and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain is going to be our first deck. This is just a, a classic. This is a, an old favorite uh, that we haven't played in a long time with our champions of um, two Rising Tides champions, Sejuani and Swain together. Uh, we're going to be playing a kind of a more controlish type deck with those being the finisher. We're going to have Avalanche to try to take down all these petty officers running around everywhere and level up our Swain because we need to do 12 non-combat damage. So Avalanche is going to do a good job at doing that. Um, and since we're sitting back, we're going to have Starlet Seer in here. They can grow some of our allies. Of course, Avarosen Trapper. Just kind of playing some, some good cards. Uh, they, you know, they don't really look like... It looks kind of weird together. Maybe, but we're just playing a lot of good cards. We have our new card of Troll Chant, which will be awesome here, which is going to be replacing Elixir of Iron, because it still helps protect our champions, which that's very important. But that giving the enemy minus two minus zero is going to be important with cards like Culling Strike. So we're going to have Troll Chant with Culling Strike. We're going to have that combo. Also Harsh Winds to go along with the Culling Strike. Also have an Auction Guillotine in here, because of the bigger decks with your Trundles, Aurelian Souls. Radiant Guardians, all that kind of stuff. So we got a guillotine in here that can pair with the Avalanche. Uh, besides that, we have one City Breaker doing round start damage each turn. Same with the Leviathans. They deal round start damage each turn. So our City Breaker is like a little mini Leviathan. Those really help level up Sejuani because to get Sejuani leveled up, we got to be doing enemy Nexus damage in a bunch of different rounds. We don't have a lot of cards that do that. We have like Death's Hand. They can get that Nexus damage in, but City Breaker... Um, goes along with Leviathan. And plus, Nexus Damage is also, of course, important for our leveled up Swain. So Nexus Damage is going to be important, which is why we have a City Breaker in here. Um, and then and then uh, the metagame is pretty powerful these days with the addition of all these Celestial cards. And uh, so we got to have some more power at the top end, I think. So we're going to be playing a sec or we're going to be playing a Captain Farron over the second City Breaker. Um, going to be having one of these up here because there's there's a lot of not only like. Not only the, the Celestial is really good, but then the Nexus healing that those Celestial decks play. Gotta be able to play a little bit longer game and have more power in your deck these days. And so we got a Captain Farron at the top end for our fourth 8-drop. But we're going to go play it over in Ranked. We're going to see how it does. Sejuani Swain's kind of a hit or miss deck. Sometimes we'll do good with it. Sometimes we'll, we won't do so good. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the list that we put together this morning. And I think this one should play out pretty well. So let's give it a let's give it a try. Let's see how we do. And just to start with, there we go. We're playing against a big deck with um, Aurelian Soul and Lux. So I'm glad we have this Guillotine. So we probably don't need Avalanche too much. I like the Trapper. Leviathan's going to be important, but we're going to mulligan it from our opener. Kind of the same with Swain. Let's just get this Trapper to start with and see what else we can have. Okay, not not the best. Wow, we mulligan Leviathan and then have an additional one? <laughs> oh, I have, I have two of the same emote? I just realized that. Alright, we'll now remember it's next turn. At least. Not until after Solari Soldier dies. All right, now none at all. So that single combat does help my Swain level up. <laughs> that, that was two non-combat damage I just dealt. Patience. So how about that? My faith protects me. All right, let's mess some folks up. These old eyes still see far and clear. All right, let's see. We've got our enraged yeti. Catch. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. So it looks like we're both kind of at a standstill right now, which is not the worst place for us to be going towards these two top end cards. I suppose. Ready the torches. Let's draw another card, see what else we get. Okay, another Sejuani. If they want to pass also, and we just go to the next turn, I'm happy with that. We can do this. Nope. 
They do not want to do that. So I want to play Sejuani next turn with the Frostbite and the Vulnerable. Wish I would have had you last turn, Swain. No, Leviathan is too important for this deck. This deck has to be a, a three Leviathan deck. Stand and fight. Believe or burn. So different options for me here. So we're at two right now for Swain. I want to go Fury of the North over Death Sand to keep Death Sand available. Yeah, I guess I guess Fury of the North's bad against Hush. Have faith. Yeah, I guess that's bad against Hush. I could definitely see this being Remembrance. Uh. I was worried about doing that during combat because I was worried about, like, if I play Death Hand during combat, then they play, like, Concerted Strike and kill my 5-5. Five five. Like, I wanted to get the, the damage on. <clears throat> now they see who I truly am. So now what are we doing? I mean, I guess it's just dropping Leviathan. Could guillotine the Lux <clears throat> and then play Swain. They can have the heal 5 card. I don't know. Like, I mean, I guess I should have gone Fury of the North, but then if I would have gone Fury of the North, then they just have the Hush, and then that doesn't work. I feel like I've been in a no-win position. That levels up. Lux. I've been hiding my life too long. Face me, coward. Don't have star shaping. No. Single combat. Prove your worth. Return new. I refuse. Right, 10 out of 12 for Swain. Now. A conquest for Empire! Virtue guides me. Mm. Ouch. We do have two more cards in hand than they do. We can do this. That's very bad for me. You can see the Demacian border from here. And it just got worse. Oh, great. Challenger too. Carved from the savage cold. Playing the final spark. I don't know why they were wanting to attack first, but I would I would absolutely take the Lux Bell killing Sejuani instead of killing that 5-3. What? We just passed? We see through all surprising move. I'll break this don't have concerted strike. Come on. It's twice they had the five mana removal spell for my eight mana unit. Punish transgression. An 
Starlet Seer is not bad in this deck. Just because you're playing units doesn't mean the Starlet Seer is bad. It's still it's much better than any other two mana card that we have access to. The upside is incredibly high. Look out for Reavers. I'm at one. I guess I'm actually just dead because of Hush with Lux. Even if I try to kill Lux, they just double cast Hush and make another Fleeting Spark. And then that's game. Yeah, GG's. These wounds only make us stronger. Even if. Besides that, it's also a two-drop that survives Avalanche, which is important. A lot of other two-drops we could play would, would be dying to Avalanche. I guess I'm kind of mulliganing everything. Hello. This would be a good Avalanche matchup. Yep, the two Concerted Strikes wrecked us, for sure. Those were good. They're out there. I'll spot them. Oh, hey, Strawman, GG's. Did we just play against you? GG's. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Lux and Concerted Strike. Too powerful for me. Fire beware. Oh, I love this trade. Yeah, you played well. Good job. Good games. You took my Troll Chant? That was the card we needed all of last game, was Troll Chant against those Concerted Strikes. Uh, they nabbed my my troll chant. I haven't been able to draw one of those yet. Can These old eyes still see far and clear. So I kind of want to have like the Culling Strike and the Starlet Seer be a combo together. Of like play Starlet Seer and then Culling Strike. Yes, Avalanche. Safeguard our home. There's passing. Why aren't you playing Twisted Fate or Zap Sprayfin or another Petty Officer? Keep up, keep up. Boo. We see through all. Yep, 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 yep. So how much damage do I want to take? I take two additional damage by blocking with Avaros and Sentry. I guess that's worth here. it. Then then blocking with Babbling Bjerg. Or no attacks. Blessed by snow and stars. Yeah, our opponents in chat. It just it happens. They can they get to know my hand. Oh well. It's part of being a streamer. People want to win that bad. They want to cheat. They they would rather play that than play a straight up game than they can. It's not it's nothing I can stop. So it's nothing I. Nothing I worry about too much. It was right on my tail. Uh, we're not really trying to push damage. No, this is this is definitely more of a control deck. I, I don't want to play Ruthless Raider and, and Avalanche together. Okay, that's a good draw. It's me taking one damage. For you. Power. 
Wanted to do that before playing Swain so that if they had another Nocturne Fervor, then we could respond with another Ravenous Flock. Yeah, the yeah those those other versions, Jack. Every time I've played those, of just like the the more aggressive version with Sejuani Swain, I've just gotten destroyed. I, I don't think that those versions are any good. I just think that you have to kind of be a little bit more defensive and everything. Um, those other units just aren't like your ruthless raider kind of cards. They're just not really good enough, honestly. You just have a, a terrible record playing those those kind of cards. So seven life is not very much. I'm always up for a round or Probably two. doing red card. Yeah, they're doing red card just to do, get another point of damage in. Who says I don't share? <laughs> up there in the mountains. I'm not gonna be using Death's Hand on that. I'd rather be using Death's Hand on something. Oh come on. Is that another decimate? Need to save it for something that will, will kill me, like an elusive or a gangplank. But gangplank just kills me. Your king has returned. The attack ability does two to me right now. Don't you think? A you've got there, River Snake. So I have, to I have to cast Avalanche to kill the powder keg. GG's. Yeah, that was three main deck decimate. I mean, we, we only saw two decimates, but I, I assume they were playing three. You could play Tavern... Tavern... Yeah, you could play Conley Tavern Keeper over Starlet Seer for specifically for that matchup. It's a little slower. You know, you don't... It's not a two-mana card. It's a three-mana card. It overlaps with Trapper. kind of overlaps with other stuff. Um, I mean, that's... That's just not something you see that's very common, right? Like you don't you don't normally see that much nexus damage happen. Mulliganing Leviathans is City Breaker something I'm interested in against Viheimer. I'm not sure. I guess so. Here, why couldn't I had you last turn? Worked out really well last turn. Bob, getting that resub in second month. Y'all get some hype in the channel. Thank you so much, there, Bob. Yeah, we got a troll chant. That's definitely an important one. Joke debate. Hot on the trail. Hold the world within. Vi stands for violence. Who, who, who goes there? It's a bunch of one threes they have over there with my two damage. I was I was too worried about if I pass and they just they just uh, don't do anything. So I, I played the Starlet Seer even though I'd much rather them be challenging the Avaros and Trapper. I was just too worried about that. This would be a good winter. Um, our next two cards should both be Yetis. We haven't seen the Yetis yet. Alright, so we'll kill Vi. Next two cards should both be Yetis. It can't be. Sure can. So I could Avalanche 
and then attack. And they don't get to block with this 3-2. I'm, I'm gonna just attack. We're not gonna avalanche. Every move. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about them blocking my enraged jetty with that. Oh well. Please don't play another spell. Yuck. Now I get triple draggling. What is gained when you return malevolence? Cards don't look very good. <laughs> None of these cards are very good in this matchup. Uh, we really want to draw our eight mana cards. You know, we got our four eight mana cards. That's what we want to draw. Either one. All right, another trapper. Trapper's not the best. Definitely need our, our top end cards. Ready yourself. Our deck relies pretty heavily on our top end cards. Sejuani, Swain, Leviathan. So I'm not going to play the Trapper. It, it would put an Enraged Yeti on top. I don't really want to draw Enraged Yeti. That's good against Heimerdinger. If our opponent plays a Heimerdinger. Also not bad against these Eye of the Dragons. So turning harsh winds into decimate, basically. Butcher. All right, they play two spells. They play deep meditation and mystic shot. They'd be getting a draggling. Keep them from getting that draggling. Trade with twin, twin disciplines, I suppose. What is gained when you return malevolence? So the good news is they are out of twin disciplines. Control chance not a bad draw. And help protect against a removal spell. None disturb my meditation. I'm waiting. If I must. Our worst case scenario is static shock. Well, no, it's not really the worst case, because then we'd, we'd still protect that, but it's... They'd have to have static shock plus mystic shot. Together. Good, but then you use all your mana. Alright, so that's... So we'll go with the... Uh, Plus two here, minus two here. That could work out well. I'm doing six damage to them right now. They, around. they should just static shock there. They've got greedy with the mystic shot also. Alright, come on, City Breaker. Finish this game out. It's a very bad Starless Seer draw. Because now I know the top card's Enraged Yeti, and Enraged Yeti doesn't help either. So it's basically we gotta have the City Breaker. Nope. We see through all. And fire! I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Um, no real reason not to block. Right, because that 3-1's going to block anyway, because I have... I know I'm drawing Enraged Yeti. So I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have... 
Like, if I'm attacking, that thing's gonna block back, so, like, I might as well just say three life. Yes, I should have attacked. Dragon binds us. My biggest regret this game is mulliganing away the one Leviathan, right? Like, or, or maybe I had two Leviathans in my opener that I mulliganed. That's my biggest regret is mulliganing those cards away. Could be a game winner. That was a great draw. Is there? I like. I, I can't think of any reason of like where to play Death Sand. Is there? Is there anything that's better than anything else? I don't think so, right? I don't think it matters. Fly away while you can. I guess this thing. Try to keep them from gaining that one life, and just block this thing. To deny. Leviathan. Alright, we're gonna mulligan City Breaker in this aggressive matchup. Especially the one with challengers. You don't really want an 0-5. Um, but I like these other three cards. Avalanche would be my best draw. Yeah, so they, the card on the left is the card they draw each turn. So like this. Yeah, that's the card on the left, that's the card they just drew. Same with mines on their left. These old eyes still see far and clear. Don't get in my way. For the homestead. All right, I will take that trade. Digging for avalanche. Before they play, you know, misfortune. Not the best city breaker. Fortune favors the bold. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. I'm actually here. Avalanche. This That's fine. is mercy. They're coming! I love you. Don't have very much life. You're late. You're early. Ugh. Hell of a day. Really need to draw avalanche. Avalanche. Pain is nothing. I've got your back. Bring me chaos born for conquest. Ravenous flock, I wish you were castable. Looking for trouble? It found you. Oh, 
great. Alright, we'll see if we get Avalanche there. How good is the deck that we're playing in the meta? Well, it doesn't look very good. We're currently 0-4. Alright, we got Avalanche. That's good. I don't know. I mean, we haven't had any... We haven't had good luck. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, the cards I kept were fine, right? I kept Sentry. I kept Culling Strike. And Avros and Trapper is good in that. I, I kept three good cards to the, the matchup, but it turned out that it was just Avalanche was the only card that was important. I'm actually here. I don't regret keeping any of the cards, except for we only needed Avalanche and nothing else. What is this? Too, too tough? Card that doesn't die to Avalanche? Yeah, I don't think our deck's necessarily bad. It's just, you know, our you know we've been playing against a bunch of really good decks, and they've they've had good things for what we've had. Just, that's the way the game goes sometimes. to level up sweet they want to pass not use any of that mana that sounds good with me yeah, you kind of need to draw the right parts of your deck at the right time you'll know, play against like one one opponent that just had like the concerted strikes for each time i played it the eight drop they had the concerted strike for it <clears throat> couldn't find like a troll chant to protect it um you know that, that last game if we would have drawn an avalanche would have been huge the Heim against the Heimerdinger deck, we drew none of our top end. No Leviathan, no Swain, no Sejuani, no Captain Farron. And so, you know, like, we haven't been having any good luck. Still, our deck isn't one of the best, but, um, you know, we need, we need our cards to line up. And they haven't been. And then our other loss was the Bilgewater deck that, that I think they did three points of damage to me. Uh, total with attacking and all of the rest of the damage was um, yeah I think it was just like three damage total and then just all the rest of the damage <clears throat> besides that was just straight nexus damage Just passing. They're burning two more mana than I am. And of course, if we just sit here and pass each turn, that's going to be better for my Leviathans and Captain Farrens and stuff later. I don't really have the pressure to do stuff right now. You're covered. Okay, so now they're down to four mana. So they're not going to be able to play a Quinn this turn. Yeah, I think this works now. I should still level up Swain, right? No, it only goes to 10. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should have been 8. Oh, I guess... Oh, no, because it didn't do damage to the tracker, so it was 7. And my Ravenous Flock didn't do 4 because of the top. It only dealt 3. Please don't have another single combat. All right, good. Good, didn't 
just have another single combat. Alright, so this worked out. GG's, we gotta win. Nice and patient. And only one way. <laughs> that was our our quest today was win games with Noxus, and we only have one one out of the two. Uh, well, our Tale of Blood and Honor deck is another Noxus deck. This is a fan favorite. I've I've had mixed results with Sedgwani Swain, like I talked about in the past, and we do need our cards to line up. I think this is the best way to play it is to play Avalanche and to try to play a little bigger. Um, but against the Against the slow Heimerdinger control deck, I recommend drawing a Swain, a Sejuani, a Captain Farron, or a Leviathan. I recommend drawing one of that 25% of your deck. That part, that 25% of your deck is very important. A Babbling Bjerg would also be nice to draw to draw those, so I guess it's more than 25%. Uh, you're getting closer to 30% when you add in the Babbling Bjerg. I uh, recommend drawing some of those, uh, which we didn't. And then against the, the Lucian... So Senna deck that's just playing all Lucians and Senna's try to draw an Avalanche. <laughs> we didn't draw that card. That card would have been key. Uh, could have the Kindly Tavern Keeper against, you know, then we had the Bilgewater deck that did like 17, I think it was 17 Nexus damage to us. That we can't, you know, can't stop Nexus damage. So, I mean, you could have Kindly Tavern Keeper, I guess, but I just don't want, I don't really want Kindly Tavern Keeper over other cards in, in other matchups. That's just the one matchup where you'd, where you'd want it, and, and who knows, you may not even draw at that matchup anyway. So it didn't have the best luck, but still, we're we're not the, you know, this isn't the, the best of decks either. So you need you need to have a little bit of luck. You need to have some cards lined up. You need to have your, your top end against the control deck. You need to have your Avalanche against the Lucian deck, you know, that kind of stuff. You have those, you can win. If you don't, you're gonna struggle, and that's, that's kind of... What happened today? We didn't. Troll Chant didn't look the best. It was all right. It was all right. I missed Elixir of Iron and the one mana of Elixir of Iron. I wonder if one like some combination of both of them. I'm not sure. Ravenous Flock looks pretty poor. Overall, I mean, there was definitely some times like we killed like a Vi, a three health Vi, and a three health Radiant Guardian. So it, it definitely did its thing a couple of times. Um, but there was a lot of other times where it was just stuck in hand. Like against aggro decks where we couldn't play it. All right, but that's Sejuani Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.